Hi, this is Joanna Stern of Laptop Magazine, and today we are in Cambridge at OLPC's offices checking out the XO running XP. We're also checking out this sleek new orange system, which actually won't be brought to market, but we do think it's pretty snazzy looking. Anyway, back to the XP. We've been testing it now for a few hours, about two hours we've had hands-on time with it, and it's actually working pretty well. We've noticed uh, some of the things people were concerned about was application launch times, uh, which isn't really much of a concern, especially when you're working in the browser. Um, we've got Internet Explorer up here, we've got Firefox here, um, and we can launch some other programs. We've actually also installed Skype over here on the desktop. Uh, Skype actually runs fine in chat mode. We actually started running a video and that seemed to pause it up, but we think it'll work pretty fine just to make a call, which is what you know many people use Skype to do. And just to show you a little bit of the browser here, we've rickrolled ourselves, so we're obviously playing this. Video is playing pretty good. A little bit of a Well, Rick Ashley never looks good in video, but sound sounds good, and there's just a little bit of a choppiness to the video, but we've actually seen pretty good video playback, even in Hulu. So, full browser, supporting Flash. Just checking my Facebook here. So, nice support there. Just then to take you into some of the other applications that come preloaded on the system comes with um, some basic Office tools, some basic Microsoft tools, but it does come with Windows Media Player, uh, this Learning Essentials for Students, which is Microsoft's kind of um, answer to teaching programs, allows you to display uh, some presentations and whatnot. Also, you can see Windows Messengers on here, kind of the standard package we're used to coming on netbooks at this point. Uh, then we go into the Office tools, and you've got Excel 2003, Outlook 2003, PowerPoint 2003, and Word. So if you want to just see, it takes a few seconds here to launch Word, especially when you're launching for the first time. But it's not too bad. We counted about six seconds before. But we'll just wait for it to load and show you that it's fully functional Microsoft Office here on the XO. We also got to see the dual boot, so to give you a bit of background on the hardware, in the SD card slot in here, there's a 4 gigabyte SD card that has preloaded XP. We'll flip it around after to show you. So Microsoft Office, or Word here, has loaded. Again, type using the really great keyboard. Similar experience to what you have in Sugar and Write. And I also just want to give you guys playback of a vid Windows Media clip in Windows Media Player. There we go. Smooth playback here, as you can see. The nice OLPC video put together by LLPC's CEO. As you can see, multitasking is a bit of an issue, but not so much when you just kind of make sure the other programs aren't doing much. So overall, definitely a nice first look at XP on the XO. Uh, definitely a nice kind of alternative to booting up into the sugar interface. We do still like that you can still get that sugar interface by just restarting the computer or unplugging that SD card and booting into the uh, Linux operating system.